Hi everybody. Well, I'm sure like me, um, you're getting sick and tired of paying high energy costs, uh, big electricity bills, especially in winter now. Um, winter down under at least anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through creating your own little heater which runs on tea light candles. Um, I've yet to do this, so um, I'm going to take you through the process, but I have heard from people that it works really well. So um, let's have a look how we uh, put this together. Cool. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do basically is put together um, a cone, if you like, uh, from the three um, terracotta flower pots you see here. And I'm going to be using a long bolt, um, an assortment of nuts and washers. Um, to basically hold the whole thing together. So uh, let's take this step by step. Okay, so I've taken the bolt and um, a large washer um, and put it through the uh, water hole, uh, or the drain hole if you like, of the largest of the three pots. Um, the washer obviously needs to uh, stop the bolt going through the hole, uh, or pulling through if you like. And uh, let's have a look at the inside now. Okay, so turning the pot over, um, we can see that our bolt um, is sticking quite a way through. Um, and the reason for that basically is that we want to be able to attach all three pots, as you'll see in just a moment. Um, I'm going to use the nuts and washers that you see there as spacers. Because um, essentially, when I get the pots inside each other, I want the bottoms of each of the pots to be about level at the bottom. You'll see what I mean as we go through. Okay, so I'll stick a few of those on and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I've put a washer on the inside. Um, obviously the nuts are possibly going to be a bit smaller than the drain hole. Um, so they would actually pull back through um, if you didn't put a washer at the bottom, which has obviously got to be bigger than the drain hole to prevent it moving back through. Okay, so I'm going to continue adding some nuts to the bolt um, until I've got enough um, to basically keep the pot level um, with the main one. Okay, so you can see now that I've got um, three nuts in there and then I've put a washer on top because I'm now going to slide the second uh, pot into the first one, um, obviously passing the bolt once again through the, um, the drainage hole. Um, <laughs> how many nuts do you need? Uh, basically, I sat in the aisle of my hardware store and I put the whole thing together before I knew exactly what I needed and then I had to take it all apart so I could go and pay for it. But anyway, it was worth it. Okay, so here we go. We're now going to put the uh, second bowl in. You can see it slides in over the hole. And what we're looking for here basically is to have the, uh, the lips or the edges of the pots basically at around about the same level. Okay. So I now have that slit on there. I'm going to put another washer in here now. So let me reach across and uh, slide that in. So once again, that's going to basically ensure that the nut doesn't slip through the, uh, the drainage hole when you tighten the nut up. So there is a bit of um, purchase there so it doesn't slip through the hole. Okay, so I'll go through the tedious task of sliding on a few more nuts. And uh, we'll be ready for our third and smallest of the pots. Okay, we're starting to take shape now. We've got the second bowl in, uh, pot should I say. Um, and I've basically placed another four nuts this time. Um, and then a washer on top. Um, and the same thing again basically. I put in as many nuts until I was satisfied that the, the lips or edges of the, uh, the pots we're going to be fairly close together. Now I could put another nut in there, but that would probably push that pot basically um, further down than the rest. Uh, essentially what we're looking for are heat traps, um, because as you'll see later on, we'll be lighting candles underneath this. Um, the heat will be getting in here and warming the pots up. Um, with the bolt and the washers, of course, the metal transferring the heat, um, it will also transfer the heat around the, uh, the from one pot to the next. So we'll have a good collection of hot objects to start heating the air. Okay, so let's um, put on some more of the uh, nuts and we should be pretty well finished with this part of the job. And here we have the third pot in place. Um, I've added two more nuts 
and you can see I've put a big, uh, a bigger square sort of um, washer type uh, thing in there. You can obviously put a round one, but I couldn't find any basically. Um, but essentially, that's going to be there to also capture heat and pass it up and down the actual bolt, um, which obviously is going to be good at transmitting or conducting heat um, through the whole mechanism. Okay, so um, let's go and assemble it somewhere and give it a test run. Okay, now I know this is probably not the prettiest thing you've ever seen in the world and maybe I'll do something about that, but I obviously want to test everything out first. So what I've got here is my position where I'm placing it. Um, I've, got, I've just bought a single paver, um, sandstone kind of thing by the looks of it, and uh, three brick pavers. Um, so basically that'll stop the draft putting the candles out uh, and obviously protect uh, any sort of uh, possibility of fire getting out because obviously we are dealing with um, you know naked flames here so all the usual precautions should be taken um, children's animals all that kind of stuff and uh, what I'm going to do now is light it and then place our cone of pots over the top and we'll see what we get Alrighty, so we now got our tea candles lit, and I think it's time to put on the finishing touch. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so here's the finished product. It looks cozy, if nothing else, anyway. A little bit of candle light, so uh, yeah, not exactly going you know, to roast marshmallows over the top of it, but uh, it's looking good, and uh, I guess now it's just a matter of waiting for the whole thing to heat up and see how it goes. Um, another thought I had actually, uh, if you have the sun during the day, um, but still cold clear days, you might want to put the pot out in the sun during the day to let it warm up so it doesn't have to heat up from stone cold. Okay, well thank you for um, looking at this, and um, I wish you well, and keep warm. Well, I've been running this now for probably about half an hour, maybe less actually. Um, and yes, it is getting warm. Um, I've <laughs> I put my hand inside and touched the innermost small pot, and it's quite hot to the touch. Uh, and certainly the outside one has now got some good warmth happening as well. So um, I think we might be on to a winner here. Um, for the price of a few tea candles, I think I can run the heat whenever I want to. Okay, well, uh, keep warm, people, and um, I hope this helps. Um, as I said before, be careful. It is an open flame situation, so uh, uh, children and animals obviously need to be taken into consideration here to make sure that they're uh, supervised or that they're kept away from this. Okay, save on that power. Keep warm. Thanks for listening and looking. Bye.